chemistry in biology. The life on Earth is a carbon-based life. That means you can find carbon in macromolecules, and it's a very um, many times appearing uh, atom in macromolecules. The carbon skeleton can vary by the length of the carbon skeleton. It can branch off or it can be straight. It can contain simple or single or double bonds between the carbons and it can form a straight line, the carbon chain, or it can form a ring structure. The uh, carbon forms four bonds, four covalent bonds with other uh, atoms. The chemical groups, the different chemical groups, we will cover that in class. But you have to know their whether they are polar or nonpolar and whether they are acidic or base. So the polymers, we will discuss uh, the synthesis of the polymers and how they break down. Polymer, uh, so the synthesis to make polymers, many uh, monomers bind together, is, uh, is happening by dehydration reaction. For example, the hydroxide and the hydrogen binds together to form water, hydroxyl group. Or the breaking down part is called like hydrolysis reaction or decomposition reaction that happens during uh, digestion when you eat the macromolecules and in order to be absorbed into the body, into the blood, they have to break down. So example for the dehydration reaction we have a carbon chain that contains a hydroxyl and a hydrogen uh, atom and also another one. So these are monomers and they combine together through dehydration reaction. These are the hydrogen uh, hydroxyl, uh, hydroxyl group that bind together. The other one is the hydrolysis. We have a polymer, okay? and water is going to be split, hydrolysis, and going to form two uh, smaller molecules. The diversity of the molecules, we will see in this unit, is really leads to diversity of life. Next page. So let's target first the carbs the carbohydrates. Uh, there are three groups for the carbohydrates. One of them is the monosaccharides that they contain one sugar uh, group. The other one is disaccharide made out of two sugar uh, uh, combining together two. And the polysaccharide means many sugar molecules bind together. The monosaccharides uh, general formula is CH2O. It can contain three carbon up till seven carbon. The six carbon chain is uh, usually called the hexose. For the, uh, the first and the fifth carbon usually form a ring form. Hexose are the uh, glucose and the fructose, for example. And the uh, triose is the three carbon uh, chain monosaccharide or pentose is the five ring. Uh, the five ring usually make, I mean five carbon uh, usually makes ring forms. Disaccharides, they bind together by glycosidic, glycosidic uh, linkage by dehydration reaction. Dehydration again, the hydroxyl group binds with the hydrogen and leaves the system. So the uh, one of them is the sucrose. The sucrose is really uh, glucose and fructose uh, combined together. This is the plain sugar, what we eat, and it's usually uh, 
in plants. The other disaccharide that you have to know is the lactose that is found in milk as well as maltose that is, uh, that is found in plants. So the polysaccharides, uh, it's also by glycosidic linkage binding together through dehydration reaction. The polysaccharides uh, can function as a storage like the starch and glycogen. Starch, you can find them in plants and the other one is glycogen, you can find it in animals. They store carbs, the starch is not branching and the glycogen uh, for, shows a branching structure. Both of them helical structures, so they form spiral shape. The other function for the polysaccharides can be the structural. They act like st structural uh, components of the cells, like cellulose. The cellulose is insoluble fiber. We cannot digest. It's not branching. Uh, in the intestine of the cows or the uh, stomach area, they have bacteria and proteins that they can break down the cellulose. We cannot because we are lack of uh, the enzyme that breaks down the bonds. Termites uh, cannot do it, but the protist in their guts can break down the cellulose and some fungi can break down the cellulose too. The other one is the chitin. It's the exoskeleton of the arthropods. You can find uh, in arthropods uh, that makes the crunchy exoskeleton or the cicadas shell. And also some, uh, this is really pretty, uh, arthropod. And uh, some fungi uh, cell wall, it, I mean, some fungi's uh, cell wall is made up of uh, chitin. The lipids, lipids, they are the waxes, the pigments, fats, phospholipids, and steroids. We are going to focus on the fats, phospholipids, and steroids. Fats, let's jump into the fats. Fats are made up of two components, glycerol and fatty acids. They are not truly uh, uh, polymers. Uh, because the glycerol is a three carbon uh, alcohol with OH groups, hydroxyl groups. This is how it looks like. And they are going to form ester bonds, uh, covalent bond with fatty acids. Fatty acid, it looks like kind of a long chain. It contains a carboxyl group uh, for the first uh, carbon and hydrogen all around. This is going to be uh, saturated when I'm just uh, drawing it. The, this uh, carboxyl group uh, with the hydroxyl uh, group forms uh, water and it's a dehydration reaction. The tail of the fatty acid is hydrophobic because we know that the carbon doesn't have that much of electronegativity to uh, unfairly share the electron with the hydrogen. That's a side note. Okay, here I'm going to draw how they form the bonds, the fatty acid with the glycerol. And uh, here the, the hydroxyl uh, group and the carboxyl group now uh, just formed the ester linkage. And between the oxygen and carbon is the ester bond. That is the ester bond. Okay. We just so the glycerol with three fatty acids is called the triacyl glycerol, and it's a short, uh, shorter way to say it's triglyceride. This is the TG value, what the doctors usually check in your blood uh, during uh, annual checkup. 
So the fatty acid can be saturated uh, versus unsaturated. Saturated, that means it doesn't contain any dub double bonds. The, uh, the carbon chain is tightly packed and full with hydrogen uh, atoms. Solid at room temperature, they are the animal fats. An animal needs it because this is a mobile energy storage with tons of energy. On the other hand, the unsaturated happens to be in the fish and plants, uh, contains double bonds. I did not write it down, but you have to know it. Not too much in the plants, but mostly occurring in the seeds as energy source for the uh, embryo for the seed. Phospholipids very fast. We, uh, we will deal with phospholipids later on with the membrane structure. We have the uh, glycerol backbone. I'm just drawing the backbone and two fatty acids are hanging off from the uh, carbons. They are uh, and for the first carbon, there's a phosphate group attached to it. The uh, and also additional attachments can happen to the phosphate. So that attachment, additional attach attachment as well as the phosphate group is hydrophilic. So it's uh, polar hydrophilic. So it's going to be <coughs> going to be able to dissolve or just mix with water. On the other hand, the fatty acid part is phobic, so it's not going to mix with water. The last one is the steroids that we have to cover in this video. They are fused, four fused drinks together. The basic is the cholesterol, and in animal cells, the cell membrane contains cholesterol. Uh, the cholesterol is also the precursor for sex hormones.